Right, so while we wait for parts for this Land Rover, little project I'm going to work on is removing the paint off this galvanized strip. I really, really dislike paint on the galvanized um, strip. This one is a bit worn. You can see there's a bit of rust showing through, but it's not really that bad. I think because it's been covered in paint for most of its life, um, it should be okay. And I don't mind if it's a bit, you know, got a little rust marks now and again. It just adds to the patina of it. Um, but I really don't like it painted. And also, it is, if you can check here, it is actually chipping off pretty much. You can see it's all chipped, um, chipping off pretty much all over. So, like, I already started on this corner. And you can see there's a bit of wear on the, on the galvanized um, strip. But it's coming off pretty easily. I already did this side. And you can see it's looking much better. And we're going to do that all the way around get all of this um, paint off the galvanized strip because I do not like when you have paint on the galvanized stripping it's just meh doesn't look so cool I must say they didn't do a bad job on this one you can see that at least it doesn't look too gungy they seem to have used quite a good quality of paint even though now it's like all chipping off but yeah that's the project I will update you on how that goes Yeah, it's coming off pretty easily. I just don't want to scratch the galvanized too much. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's just it's just peeling off. So hopefully it should should come off pretty easily. Oh, I think I think it's two days or three days uh, since we started with the removing of the paint from the galvanized strip. Now you can see that this is the left hand side. I haven't even got here yet. You can still see. Let's get a bit closer. Um, you can still see that the paint is here all along this galvanized strip. Um, you can see it's all chipped and peeling. It's actually coming off. It's coming off quite easily. Over here on both sides, that side and this side, um, we've got a bit of a rust mark. And I think the reason for that is that they had maybe possibly a roll bar or roll cage on here, fitted on here. And it used to chafe and wear and it wore, through the, wore through the galvanized uh, section. And hence the reason why we've got this little rusty spot here and then the galvanized uh, stripping is good on either side but just over here seems a bit rusty and I noticed on the other side and I'll show you they seem to have filled it in with um, like bronze welding uh, so that's there but as you can see this side is yet to be done I haven't even started it's all still painted apart from where it's naturally chipping off um, it's all painted and I'm going to remove the paint all along here even here, this is going to be all galvanized, galvanized, galvanized. This will all be galvanized all the way down to the bottom. But I think the bottom hangers um, and the end, well, they will stay painted black. Yeah, so that's the plan there. I think it'll look nice. So if you look on this side, this is the progress. Look, there's still, let me just get it to focus. There's still paint on some of these rivets and on here it still needs to be cleaned up nicely but for the most part all of that is off i haven't come down here yet but that's next um, bring that all down and you can see all the paint there's still a little bit of paint in here it's a bit difficult getting in this in this groove trying to remove the paint and they seem to put some like 
primer filler kind of stuff in between here which is a bit difficult to get out but it is coming out he has this rust uh, section in the middle that I was talking about and as I don't know if you can see that let me see if I can focus it but you can see that there's actually a bronze uh, welding like they seem to have like filled a hole or something not sure but yeah so far this side is coming quite well see if we can focus it there we go it's looking quite good looking quite good going all along here obviously the back still needs to be all removed uh, but this side is all coming clean still a bit more paint this the door it came off so easily it just peeled off um, so that was actually so nice doing the door it came off really well and the galvanized and galvanized uh, plating looks really really good condition so very happy with this um, another thing is obviously this needs to be removed like all this um, paint must be removed from this because this must all be galvanized um, I think we I don't know what we'll do with the lid whether we'll paint it or keep it silver um, but we'll have to come up with an idea for that but this must all be uh, galvanized and then something I love about series Land Rovers and I know it's very very few um, people do it but I've done it now even though it's very kind of like temporary because hopefully we'll repaint this but these rivets here these four rivets just in my mind look so cool like it's just so iconic like spitfire kind of old-fashioned and I just love these these rivets and and so many people paint over them and very rarely do you see people um, clean them up and have the rivets showing but you do see it now and again um, so definitely going to have it on this one I think I might replace these rivets uh, with new fresh ones once it's all painted um, but yeah that's the progress on the removing of the the, galv the paint of the galvanized strips um, I don't think I'm going to film anything more of this um, I'll do maybe or whatever if I do another video on something else I'll do a quick walk around on what I've done uh, hopefully on it all being finished